Yeah. Uh, please play the Mambo today because we've been waiting a long time. You got it. I'm doing it today. And you know what else? Yeah. I beat my friends and I put the Mambo number in. Yeah. Oh, good. That's a good stunt. <laughs> Thanks a lot. All right, man. Bye. Bye. How does? What does he mean by that? His friends probably have beepers, so he beeped them, and then uh, instead of leaving his number, he left a Nambla number. Oh, so, so then... on their little screen, the Nambla number comes across, and they call it? Yeah, they okay. call it back, and then suddenly get a, a message from the Man Boy Love Association. <laughs> 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 it's just a little goof. All right. Something to do to your friends. Okay. All right, we got to get to the Nambla tape now, because I promised everyone if I don't start it, we'll never get to it. So anyway, hey, Stutter and John, come on in. I got to see this movie. Yeah, but the Nambla movie. You know, I'm I'm afraid to go. Who will I be sitting there with? <laughs> Take a date. <laughs> and by the way, um, Channel 13 in Los Angeles is moving the Arsenio Hall show to midnight from 11:30. Just got to tell you, because due to low ratings. Jeez. Yeah, it's so sad. <laughs> Stuttering John. Okay, so for anyone who wasn't with us yesterday, we started explaining this thing. I might as well start from the beginning. Is this the beginning of the tape? Hey, Baba Booey, come on in here and tell me. Yeah, we want to hear the whole thing. Yeah, I, even the stuff I played for you yesterday, I want to go through yeah, that. Yeah, I don't want to hear anything out of context. Start with uh, Real to Real 1, and then you'll move over to Real to Real All right, so this is what I did yesterday? Okay. Okay. So, Stuttering John, we send them over to this thing that we read about was happening, a press conference for the North American Man-Boy Love Association, which <laughs> is always funny. <laughs> And, you know, we've always uh, called that North American Man-Boy Love Association to hear that recorded message. Yeah. Be proud. Be brave. Don't be afraid to be a boy lover. And if you're a boy. <laughs> Do not be ashamed. Times will change. Relax. Take it easy. <laughs> you're still young. That's your fault. There's so much you have to learn. It's like these boys are out there wanting them. Yeah. So you boys, just be calm. Be Times will change. Times will change. So these guys are like the ultimate deviants. Yeah. And we sent Stuttering John over to ask goofy questions. We thought, well, there's a place to ask goofy questions. Cause Surely nobody's going to object. Yeah, because reporters will appreciate it. Who's actually going to cover this? This is Nambla. The North this guy's American there, too. Boy Love Association. Renato. In New York, the Horatio Alger chapter meets on the first Saturday of each month from noon to 2.30 p.m. For any other matter, please leave your message at the end of the beep. We'll call you back uh, as soon as possible, but uh, we'll have to do it at collect. Uh, in the meanwhile, and uh, we like if you're a boy, do not despair. Be true to your feelings. <laughs> Times will change. Times will change. And your oppression will end. Duh. But if you're a man, be safe, be, safe. be brave, be brave, and above all, be, be proud. proud to be a boy lover. I think if you're a boy lover, the last thing you're going to do is be proud. <laughs> you know what I mean? Even if you even if you are one, it's hard to be proud of that. But this is why they have a support group. They're trying to support each other yeah. in being brave yeah. and be proud. proud. I be, be proud to take an innocent young boy and ruin his life. <laughs> I, I still can't believe this is real, you know. <laughs> you know, I think we ought to start yeah. sending John to the meeting. Yeah, it's hard to believe that guy, you know, they announce a Nambla meeting and guys show up. You know, it's just hard to believe that there are people willing to put their ass on the line like that. Wouldn't you like to go to one of those meetings? Oh. Yeah, right. Be proud to be a bone cruncher. Oh. Oh. The Horatio Alger Chapter. Chapter. <laughs> every first Saturday, every month. <laughs> yes. There'll be bingo and then boy loving. <laughs> All right. So, anyway, so John goes over to the Nambla press conference. Why a press conference? Because they're very proud of this new movie that came out called Chicken Hawk, which features some of the Nambla members. And it's a movie basically about how guys, you know, fall in love with these boys. And it's these guys talking about it. Do they interview the boys? No, they interview some of the parents, and the parents are screaming about how they want to kill some of these guys. And it's really funny because it really is not a positive piece for these boy lovers, but they don't care. They're just happy to be in a movie. Anytime they can get in a movie. They're a lot like Jackie's wife. She's just happy to be in any movie. They don't care what it is. You know what I mean? Any movie is positive. Isn't just the title of this an insult? Chicken Hawk, yeah. yeah. 
It, it, but the whole movie's an insult to them, but they don't even get it. So anyway, John shows up, and there are members of the press there, as well as a dude who has some organization called Straight Boys. Straight Men. Or or straight something. Yeah. And he's like real angry. Not at, Well, he's angry at Nambla. He shows up at all the Nambla meetings and goes around, and wherever they go, and it's admirable work. The guy's cool. I mean, he goes around and he yells at these guys yeah. and calls them, you know, child molesters and worse. In the film, I think he's he's out front of Ronaldo's house with a bunch of people with holding a megaphone. Yeah, with a bullhorn and, and screaming, screaming at him. him. So he's one of the stars of the film too. Yeah, I think so. I think it's him. Yeah, but we're not sure. No, no, he is in it. Uh, uh, that is him. Okay, so anyway, he uh, he ends up getting mad at Stuttering John because he thinks that Stuttering John is not taking this seriously. Yeah, but uh, you you shouldn't take this seriously. We're there to goof on Nambla, and then it gets weird because it becomes like a circus because. Two of the Nambla guys are big fans of our show. <laughs> <laughs> Two of the North American Man Boy lovers oh boy. are there. They're big fans of the show. I sure hope we haven't gotten them new members. <laughs> I hope not. Oh. And it just gets to be very confusing, and members of the press begin walking out. Yeah. So the Nambla guys are all upset because all the press is walking out because John is getting into fights. <laughs> and the other guy... Renato was sitting up in the audience, so I'm, so I'm running back and forth all over. Right, you're yeah. all over the place. Well, you were working. That's called working. <laughs> Well, let me, let's take you to the meeting now. I believe right. this is just uh, w this is a little recap from yesterday. These are the dudes. You, you can see it's a serious press conference. You know, the, the Nambla dudes, the guys who love boys, they get up and they try to make some speeches, trying to give you some kind of rationale of, you know, why they do what they do. But meanwhile, it makes no sense because it's impossible to give a rationale for why you love young boys. <laughs> <laughs> you know? You should get up and just say, I am a very sick man. Take me away. Take me away and lock me in a padded cell before I can hurt any of your children. Bring me in the head and yeah. pour in fluid. Right. <laughs> Put a bit to my skull and drill open my head. And don't stop until you smell brain. Don't stop till you get enough. Give me to Jeffrey Dahmer. Right. <laughs> that is what I deserve. Some people will want to speak so truthfully about their most intimate parts of their lives. So here's some dude. He gets up. He's one of the guys who loves boys. And he's talking about how amazed he is by the Nambla members and their bravery to go on film. Well, th now this is a bit of making sense. Yeah. He is amazed. He is amazed. He finally came to some conclusion <laughs> that, that we can all agree with. Uh, even though I'm a boy lover myself... I feel easily, he's, even though I'm a boy lover myself, I'm amazed by my, my fellow boy lovers. You know, alcoholics should have no trouble coming out at all. Yeah, I mean, if these guys aren't embarrassed, <laughs> he's in front of the press room. Yeah, I'm a boy lover. Don't get me wrong. I mean, you know. I'm shocked to see it. Even as a boy lover, I'm shocked to see <laughs> these guys. Uh, I almost assume that a lot of people here might have the same reaction. Uh, we have a very diverse culture in many ways. And I think people are... Most people, thank goodness, are just beginning to accept some of the diversity. And here we go with something... What people are those? I want to see the people who support <laughs> Nambla. Nambla. Hey, that's a tough one to come out for. <laughs> Where are those people? Yeah, I don't think you can find one United States senator to come out for that. You know, the only people who support this are the guys who want to do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see anyone else supporting it. Thank God, you know, people are starting to come around. You know, <laughs> where is that? I want to challenge that yeah. right away. Brand new, and it takes a little while getting used to. Uh, and even as a boy lover, being a gambler for 15 years, uh, I was a little shocked to see it. And then... Right, here comes a second boy lover. Okay. Oh, oh no. Oh, could you imagine the stories they share with each other when oh, they're Oh, man, it must be wild. <laughs> That's why now, I'm sending you to a meeting. All right, so this guy handles himself all right. You know, he, he at least is shocked by something. This is a guy who, you know, takes kids in sleeping bags and has sex with them. And even though he's a boy lover, he's shocked that people are willing to stand up and admit right. it. Maybe some of these guys don't act on it. They're just in the organ. Maybe he never slept with a guy in a sleeping bag. I don't know. I can't tell who's done what. But it's almost like he's standing up and saying, you know, I've got my 15-year chit here. Yeah, I've right. Been in, I've been in the association 15 years. You, you would support the group if it was a group that was like Alcoholics Anonymous. They're trying to get them off of boys. Right. But these guys get together to have boys. Right, and they're sharing their secrets. Yeah. But this next guy who gets up, he's one of the stars of the movie. And, you know, he's, he's a real hardcore boy lover. He loves talking about it. Well, for me, NAMBLA is a vehicle for reducing the amount of suffering in this world. Right. Now, humans, as I understand it, suffer because of their inner division. 
because their natural wholeness, the thing that would produce their happiness or their sense of completeness <laughs> or spontaneity in life, has been attacked. This guy's unbelievable. Who explained this to him? <laughs> I want to know. Some people come up with stuff on their own. <laughs> He's like, I understand that humans are upset and they're suffering because their wholeness My is whole... attacked. <laughs> but the reason I joined NAMBLA is to reduce suffering. My own suffering. I mean, never mind the boys' buttocks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the whole, The whole being attacked is my suffering. I want the natural wholeness. <laughs> you know, it's, it, it, it's just an interesting explanation for, for you know making love to young boys. It's oh. a, yeah, it's a rationale for doing something devious. Yeah. By various ideas in our society. Sort of like, hey, this makes me happy, so why shouldn't I be happy? Who cares about everything? I else? should not have to uh, deny this natural, spontaneous yeah. impulse. Just I because, have. you know, hey, I enjoy killing people, but, I, you know, maybe <laughs> I'll try to refrain from doing it, even though it'll make me unhappy. I'm suffering. Yeah. That are extremely prejudicial, extremely antisocial. And so, as a beginning step, to transforming the consciousness of our race, it seems to me that we be need to begin to examine the truth of our common life, the truth of our common feelings, not according to some stereotype, Good not explanation. according to some made up. All right, so you get the idea, right? You get the idea of these guys. Here, yeah. They just they ramble on about each other, and but he looking fine. at each other <laughs> as nearly as we can. In an objective, Do we have to be tolerant, sane, respectful way. All right, so, so I gotta respect you. Yeah. Well, we have to be tolerant of everyone's lifestyles, even if that means taking innocent boys and ruining their lives, impregnating them. Yeah, can you them. imagine these guys let loose? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> You, can you, you know what their society would be? It would be like Huns just coming in and taking boys out of houses and yeah. raping them. But anyway, okay, so that's the North American Man Boy Love Association. So yeah. finally, it's time for questions, and you know who, everyone's favorite oh, stuttering yeah. interviewer, oh, no. is going to ask questions. Now, they open the floor, huh? Yeah, they open the floor for questions. So John starts asking his goofy questions, and then this guy starts yelling at him and threatening him. I thought he was going to hit me. Man. Yeah, I mean, it was like really weird. It was like one of those things where he's right in my face and yelling, so it's like, you know, any moment. Yeah, and we're there goofing on Nambla, and this guy doesn't get it. you got to say that John is a brave guy. He is. Oh, no two ways about it. he stands there with that microphone. Like an idiot. What? Like an imbecile. A guy's ready to slug him, and he's like, and, and, and the guy goes, hey, man, I don't think this is funny. So, uh, you don't think this is funny? <laughs> you know, it's just like, he just keeps interviewing him. It's quite a confrontation. You're quite a hero, John. <laughs> Stupid. <Okay. laughs> Doesn't know any better. Take another question. Can I ask a couple questions, guys? I'm so sorry. This is for WXRK Radio. Sorry. Uh, what are the best Western show? Yeah, what are the best hot John. Hi. What are the best now, one of the guys from Nambla is a big fan oh, of the Howard Stern show. Static. He didn't know what to say. And then other guys in Nambla think this is nonsense. Uh, is that right? Yeah, it's perfect. Party places to molest them. Well, here we go. It's not good to stop the tape. I'll just let it go. It's okay, radio. What are the best... Let's turn show. Yeah, what are the best hiding... John. Hi. What are the best hiding places to molest a boy at Disney World? Oh, my goodness. That's even better than I was used to. Uh, how would you stump me? <laughs> Do you have we're, one for We're that? opposed to molesting any young people of any age or anyone of any age. So that would be our answer. There should be no hiding place for anyone who wants to do sure. that. Why not? All right. Do your dates have a scream for their mommy or daddy? Do the what? Do your dates have a scream for, for their mommy or daddy? <laughs> Do our dates have a scream for mommy? Do your dates have a scream for mommy or daddy? Oh, oh, Howard. Oh, Robin. Oh, Fred. What a nut. <laughs> Stuttering John, where have you gone? How about you? Oh, that guy's annoying, isn't he? I almost wanted to edit him out just yeah. because I couldn't handle him. I like the other guy, though. But it was the other guy. Does boy molesting make you deaf? He doesn't understand any questions. I know. But I like, I like his voice. Like That's the voice that, like, that's in the sack with these young boys. Yeah. 
And it's like, what? Uh, you know what? And we don't molest anyone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're, a nice, no hiding place. You're a nice young boy. Get out of the closet. There are no hiding places. <laughs> yeah, this is really an amazing thing. Speaking of screaming for mommy or daddy, uh, we had one of these priests in Chicago, as I remember. And I'm trying to turn John's question into a serious question. <laughs> a boy who apparently had recovered memories, a cardinal or whatever it was, uh, had so-called recovered memories. Well, it turned out that he said that over a period of a year, like three times a week. Now we're talking about hundreds of times oh, yeah. this boy participated, as he said, in what must have been consenting relationships with this priest. And he never said anything to anyone until years later. These guys are so weird. Here's a young, confused boy who never said anything to any authority because he was being raped by his priest. Yes. Allegedly. That's what was was alleged, anyway. It's... You know, it, it, what about young boys being confused and embarrassed about well, admitting to this they're stuff? They're rationalizing this. He yeah. didn't say anything for years and yeah. hundreds of times. <laughs> he must have loved it. And he sort of sounds like Barney Fife when he Yeah, doesn't he? <laughs> I may say that I'm a little uh, doubtful of this evidence, and this is a response to your question well, about screaming for mommy or daddy. Uh, apparently, his memories were uh, achieved through hypnosis, and very recently, I'm sure the press knows that uh, the boy now realizes that some of these memories are not valid and he withdraw the, the charges against the cardinal. Oh, can you guys name the top five kids in movies and what you'd like to do to them? Oh, so now the, ang so now the angry guy hasn't been paid attention to yet. So, he, so now he has to grandstand. Get his, it, meanwhile, this is, it, what, what, we should ask these guys serious questions? Is that, is that good? <laughs> Come on, Joey, let's go. Hey, you want to go? You want to get one from Straight Kids USA before they walk? Yeah, yeah. I, can I ask you a question? I can't ask you nothing. I can't ask you anything. Come on. Let's go. So you think that people are gay? It's inherent in their, you know, uh, before they're born. Is that correct? No, he said I, I'm not answering any questions, and then you asked him a question anyway, right? Yeah, well, I thought I really when I went was when I was watching him speak in front of the the audience, I I kind of jotted down some things I was curious to ask him. Right. So this is one of them. And what's the name of his group? Straight Kids USA? Yeah. And the guys from NAMBLA didn't want him to leave because... Why didn't they want him to leave? Well, it wasn't the guys from NAMBLA. It was the guy who ran, who, who ran the press conference. Oh, I see. Oh, is that the guy yeah. associated with the movie? Yeah. Oh. He didn't want them to leave. So I just... You know, he was leaving, so I kind of... You know, he was... You were ruining the press conference. <laughs> I said there's no proof that they were born that way. There's other ways that they can, too, become homosexual. Like how? Like getting adopted and uh, nurtured into that environment. Like getting raped and f***ed in the ass for quite a few times by NEMLA members that will push him into that perverted lifestyle. What else do you want to know? Make a joke of it and I'll knock down your ass. I'm ask you, why are you so angry? I'm angry because you're making a joke of this whole pedophile situation. Well, I'm not asking what? too. Where do, you, where, do you, where do you find kids hiding in Disneyland? What is this, a joke with you? No, it's not a joke it's not at all. a joke with me either. No, it's why? not a joke with me. Well, why are you making light of this whole thing? By the way, this is for WXRK Radio. Oh, so uh, we're going to make a big joke about kids. I'm not making a joke out of it. Your questions are really, really hilarious. You're a yeah. wise guy. This is a very touchy subject. We're talking about kids <laughs> getting raped, molested, pushed into a homosexual lifestyle. We're talking about kids being emotionally disturbed because of this, and you're making a light of it. You're a wise guy. Do you view homosexuality as a bad thing? <laughs> I, first of all, all homosexuals are not pedophiles, okay? I have nothing wrong with a person who wants to be a homosexual. We do not teach anybody at straight kids to hate <laughs> homosexuals, okay? We tell them they lost their way. You cannot go that way, okay? You have to be natural, in tune with nature, okay? Nature's an absolute. It's carved in stone, okay? That's what we tell them. <laughs> I got him on the phone, Tom. We're going to get to him in a second. Oh, really? Yeah. I was going to say, you know, those must be fun meetings. Then. Yeah. <laughs> that would scare me straight. <laughs> I, don't, I might become homosexual after a guy yelled at me like that. I need to go into the nurturing arms of a young man, of a man who can <laughs> comfort, comfort me. Do not yeah, but um, Tom doesn't get that, like, we're there. We, we can't stand these guys. No. No, he doesn't get it at all. I, he, I all right, well, he's got his own thing. Well, I still admire what he does. I, he, this guy shows up at every NAMBLA meeting. Well, how many? I mean, th he doesn't go every sa once a month on a Saturday. He stands outside Renato's house, <laughs> the guy who makes that NAMBLA message, and screams yeah. on a bullhorn. On a bullhorn at the guy, and, you know, and rightly so. Well, it's true. I mean, people should know yeah. that these people are in their neighborhoods. I was just upset that he, he didn't get what we were doing. <laughs> you know, we have our own group, Straight Kids, Straight Disc Jockeys USA. Yeah. 
Don't become a homosexual. That's all we're saying. Okay. We're not saying to hurt homosexuals. We don't teach hate, all right? All right. As far as NAMLA being an obvious target, we're going after them. We demonstrate anywhere they might be or any pedophile, whether they're with NAMLA or not, to expose them to the neighborhood so parents can watch their children. You find a <laughs> problem with that? No, I'm not saying... I'm, I'm, well, don't I'm, make light of the stand. Why isn't he yelling at the NAMLA guys? Why is he yelling at John? I don't know. I'm just so upset. I think it took everyone by surprise that the NAMLA guys were going along with our goofing. <laughs> <laughs> Subject over here with these stupid questions, and I will leave. Though, because there's plenty of press here that have a lot of questions. Please. Thank God. All right. Right, you guys want to Why would the press leave during this? This is getting good. I don't what know. press was there? Yeah. They all started walking out. <laughs> all right, let's get Tom on. But this is Tom McDonough. That's the guy you just heard yelling yeah. at John. Hey, Tom. Tom? How you doing? Hey, man. Oh, you calm down. Quite a performance. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what do you hate more, uh, child molesters or stutterers? <laughs> like John. <laughs> you were really on fire, man. That was quite a performance. Well, you know what it was? Uh, how it... Uh, I really take this subject very serious. Yeah, well, we do, too. Oh, I, I, listen, guys, I, I don't really... I haven't heard your, your program that often. Read and, my book. Uh, I do a whole thing on... Yeah, um, somebody, somebody did say you did say something about Nambler. It <laughs> reminded me about that, and you do a parody on Nambler uh, once a week or so. Yeah. And, uh... Because I don't keep up with your program. I'm quite busy to tell you. Today. Believe me, it wouldn't be a real good stance to be a supporter of NAMBLA. Yeah, we're still trying to find those people. Yeah. Well, you know what it is, Howard? Uh, I, I just got a little upset with the way the questioning was going. I just really feel what a serious subject like Well, this. we were actually trying to goof on those dudes and say, you know, through our own brand of humor, say, hey, dudes, you know, like, what? Like, what? Sick. How can you ask these guys serious questions? We're saying, hey, what, hey, dudes, where do you molest your children at Disney World? Where do you, you know, what five movie stars, little kids, would you like to, you know? I mean, it wasn't meant as a... Uh... It was trying to expose them for what they are through humor. Yeah. Well, I, I understand that now. It's just that with Johnny Stutters over there... I yeah. Just, uh... <laughs> okay, it becomes a circus. Well, yeah. And, and, you know, I figured... I was running through my mind, what is this clown going to ask me? I'm going to cold cock him. Yeah, you so... sounded like... You, were you actually thinking of punching John out? I was really... The way he started with these questions, he didn't... He didn't... <laughs> You know, when you do when you suck humor out of something very serious like this, yes. it, lo it loses something. And yeah, well, we're professionals. We know how to do it. Don't oh, okay. worry. Okay. All right. Yeah, all right. So you don't worry about that. Okay. Yeah. All right. We like what you're doing. I appreciate. All right, man. That's Tom McDonough, Straight Kids USA. Uh, so what do you do? You show. Were you the guy on the bullhorn yelling at that guy? Yeah, that was uh, during the NBC special. I broke the story, uh, actually, but John Neal is again patted on the behind for it. We're the ones that exposed uh, Peter Meltzer, the Bronx High School of Science Physics. Good for you. Yeah, yeah, you did a great job. And uh, I gave Miller the photos of all these pedophiles, uh, the name, the headquarters, the surveillance. And uh, Miller obviously did give me credit. That was the first day of the, of the three-day part uh, special. And I worked with Stanzik. get Stanzik in the uh, Board of Education over there. And any leads that come up, I, I work with him. And uh, we do go after any and all pedophiles, no matter where they might be. And all yeah, that's good work. You're doing good work. We're, uh, we're behind you. Hey, listen, guy, and uh, just tell John, look, I'm not going to beat him up. Please. John, you see, man? <laughs> John was real scared of you. John was okay. I deliberately waited outside to cool down in order to talk to him. Yeah, he said you're a big, burly guy. He was, like, nervous. That uh, made me laugh yesterday when I heard it. The guy, uh, one of my, Joe over here, everybody wanted to know who Joe was. All he right. taped your show yesterday. All right. And uh, it was John, I believe, that said, uh, I look like a burly guy, like a cop or a bouncer who hadn't had a fight in a long time. Yeah, you were like itchy for a fight. All right, man. Thanks, Tom. Hey, take care, Howard. All right, bye-bye. See, we make friends with everyone. Oh, I'm so glad we straight met out. <laughs> <laughs> and child molesters fear him, and that's good. Yeah, we don't want to be, uh, we don't want him to stink. We want to join forces with him. We're, yeah, he, we're not on his side. We're forming the Justice League of America. <laughs> I wonder how he makes money. Then. Who, Tom? Yeah. I'm sure he must have another job. I don't know. Maybe he's a carnival barker. Oh. The way he yells and stuff, that'd be really good. Get in the tent! <laughs> I don't know. You sound like a pro wrestler. Yeah, he was, he was pretty intense. Uh, I forget, is that the end of the Questions? Anybody else? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Tom left. I can continue. Can I ask you a question? Because Howard always plays your, uh, you know... <laughs> <laughs> John is real nervous after Tom and, Tom and now he's, people leaving. Yeah, and, the, and what are, like the press is leaving. Yeah, press and like, is who's leaving. there from the press? Like the Daily News, Daily I know News, is there. The yeah. Post, uh, you know. So there's people start filing out because I've made a mockery of the whole thing. So I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to get axed at any second. Right. So I want to at least get someone with Renato. See, Tom should have liked you. You were ruining yeah. a, a press conference for Nambler. This was their big press conference. Always plays your, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Your answer machine on the air. Um, can you name the dog? All right. Doesn't, 
Will Macaulay Culkin give you a chubby? Macaulay Culkin what? <laughs> well, does Macaulay Culkin give you a chubby? A chubby. You have to translate that for me. Oh, he's ridiculous. You know, would this love is Macaulay one of these situations where they don't tell them what they, you know, they don't say what they say with each other the in the public. Man. To a chicken hawk, uh, Macaulay Culkin's like a piece of ass. He's a dream <laughs> Yeah, I'm even attracted to him. <laughs> and I'm totally straight. <laughs> no, the old boys are attracted to me. Can you name the top five kids in movies that you'd like to do? Oh come on! Uh, this is irrelevant, really, to the to the to the. To the <laughs> let me ask you just one more question. I'll stop. Do you watch the Mickey Mouse Club in the nude? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't. I'm am s- sorry oh, to give you a silly. serious question, but that's uh, that's uh, as far as okay, I. Okay, all right, get it. Everyone, go. Right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> and you, I'm sorry. <laughs> serious question. Now, when we come back from commercial, John gets one-on-one with the Nambla members oh. and uh, asks all the questions. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's the funniest, that Renato guy. That accent. Uh, why are you... Wrong. It's why, wrong. Yeah, why, yeah, yeah, to, you know, you, know, you just picture that voice, you know, when he's alone with a little kid. He's like, Hello. You know, hey, how you doing, huh? Oh, come on, now, give you a candy bar, huh? <laughs> come on, how's we relax in my tub? And we mellow out a little... And he's always got that dry map. Hello. Yeah, hello. Little little boy. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> you know. And like I like, like hey, come on, we're trying to have a serious press conference here, John. Don't I can't dignify that question. But what's wrong with that question? Yeah, and he doesn't know the term chubby. Yeah. Could that he doesn't know. <laughs> yeah. Could you translate? <laughs> and that's a voice that like Bella Lagosi had a charming voice compared to that. Hello. I want to suck your blood. Yeah. Get out of the infant car seat and come to Renata. <laughs> Renata. Oh, lo, lo, lo. Come, Tata. Oh, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Let's take a break and we'll come back and listen to the exciting Nambla questions and uh, answers. And I'm anxious to get back to Nambla tapes. You dragged this out long enough. Stern show. All right, John. So now you're at, we're, we're still in the Nambla meeting. And John now is going to confront one-on-one all the members of the Man Boy Love Association. Wonderful. Right, cool. So I sit Renato down with them, and they're all sitting casually. Now, who's up first? Do you remember? Um, the, 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 I get them all at the same time. All at the same time? Yeah. Oh, it's like a round robin. Yeah, it's a round robin. All right. <laughs> the Melendez group. Now, what happens? It, it all, you know, all the reporters went away. Yeah, everyone, everyone, everyone left. But, but people are still lingering to see what's going to happen. So right. They, just the spectators now. They've yeah. given up being professional. But the actual real reporters have left in disgust because you're fighting with that other guy and the uh, and you're asking goofy questions? A lot of them left, but uh, I think the Daily News and Post still st- stuck around. Right. <laughs> Let you do all the interviewing. Yeah, because I told you they had even mentioned some of John's questions uh, yeah. in the paper yesterday. Well, it's cause nobody else, well what are you going to ask a guy from Nambla? <laughs> we, of course, have I'm questions. I'm shocked that they showed up to pr- cover this at all. Yeah. Well, it was such a we are the thing. only people who should handle these things. Yeah, we should be the only press allowed at a Man Boy Love Association <laughs> press conference. So, okay, let's let's join the uh, press conference, which has basically become uh, Stuttering John asking questions. Here we go, Robin. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Hey, guys. Well, hey, guys. Can I ask you one question uh, that isn't appropriate? I know about two weeks ago... Uh, somebody called in and Nambla was discussed and pedophilia was discussed. Mm-hmm. Uh, it started out with a discussion of a program that I think either Howard or Robin saw, either on PBS or CNN. Do you recall <laughs> what that program was? Because I missed this show that day. Oh, great. <laughs> he yeah, wants we... to know all Nambla programming. Yeah. Uh, yeah, can you get us a tape of that Nambla show? It's like a porno video. Yeah, you. right. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know what the program was. If you want, I'll give you, I'll give you a call and, and I'll find out. I'd appreciate that, John. Yeah, yeah okay. we want to help you guys. Thank you. <laughs> Gee, you know, you're very seductive. <laughs> Even you you're know, very gentle. I never knew it, but, you know, boy lovers can be nice. Yeah. But, hey, boy lovers are our friends. <laughs> All right, guys. Let me, let me. All right, let's get down to it. Do I get the uh, person with the strange voice? Yeah, come on, Renato. Come over here. Let me ask you. Okay. He loves you. Okay. He has the great voice. Here. Yeah, no, I know. Howard plays him all the time. I don't know the, uh, your, the other fellow here. That's Gorilla. Gorilla, how you doing? Oh, they must have liked Gorilla. <laughs> Did they? <laughs> Gorilla's a young boy. <laughs> Gorilla looks like a young boy. He's little, he looks too. Well, yeah. He looks like he looks like he really looks about what fifteen? Yeah. Yeah. 
Mm, nice Did meat. You hear that? So young and fur. Who is this young boy you've brought with you? <laughs> Would you like to Rilla. go? Down? Oh, gorilla! You have a monkey's name. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet you make monkey love. <laughs> I have a brunch for you to swing on. Uh, <laughs> As in, oh, what a New Year's I had. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 I'm missing the name of jokes. He, he said, oh, well, he obviously knows what Grilla did on the New Year's Eve pageant. Oh, oh that's right. Oh, this guy really listens. Yeah, he's, this is the one guy that's real intent about it. Yeah. He listens closer than you. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know what he was referring to. <laughs> <laughs> Is he blushing? Did we get one out for a gorilla? His name? The Nambler guys just trying to present themselves as regular guys. Yeah, they're regular dudes who yeah. just hang out, have fun. Yeah, they're having a good time. All right. And the relaxed Nambler. Did you shake their hands, John? And <laughs> Well, yeah. Uh, not, not not going in on the way out. I and John, oh, that's his trademark. He shakes you, you, It matters out. to you whether a Nambler guy likes it? No, I really don't <laughs> care, but it's kind of hard when a guy sticks his hand out to shake you. You know, it's like... So, hey, dude, that hand's been on young How boys. How many times have I'll you been snuffed when you shook, take out, when you stuck out your hand? Yeah. Uh, believe me, I, I, you know, you know, I, you know, I washed uh, immediately. Uh, 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 yeah, I, 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 that's probably the only reason why. Uh, right. Okay. Renato. We'll be in that position. Can you come in? Yeah. I think he's signing an autograph. An uh, autograph. I just want to talk to the three of these at once, and, uh, uh, and that'll be. We'll was he signing an autograph? Yeah, he was signing something. <laughs> really? Who? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know what he was doing. Be proud. Signing a report. Maybe card. he's giving someone his number or something. All the time you need, and uh, hopefully I'll, I'll get my mind to give you a good answer. <laughs> Did anybody write down the name of this so-called scientist? Uh, his research is well known. Is well known. What's going on? Yeah, uh, I, I Ask know. a question. Yeah, I don't well, No, because then I don't know why. You, 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 why is Scott running this off? I don't know. You, why, why am I Scott listening to this? Scott runs everything off. He yeah. doesn't understand. What I told Gary like. to listen to it and uh, you, you just fast uh, forward a little bit. You know. All right. Yeah, I can come like this. All right. Your voice is, is yeah, famous. Your voice alone is. Oh, I don't know where we are. Yeah, hey, keep going. Hold in here, okay. Oh, here we go. Um, let me see. Uh, so, uh, well, Ronaldo, this is for WXRK, and let me just focus one at you because you kind of answered it already. Um, when do you think kids should have sex? Sixteen, twelve, nine, five, or right out of diapers? <laughs> <laughs> whenever, whenever they feel like, whenever they feel up to it, they feel uh, they know what's involved, and especially, uh, especially it must be stressed that they should know all the consequences of their act and what it entails, what the dangers are, what the pitfalls are of being involved with, a, hmm. with an older man. Right. And after that, they he's should be yeah, He's like a lawyer. He's like a lawyer. <laughs> what the well, pitfalls, uh, the pitfalls. What the dangers, and of course, the, the, the consequences. Yes, uh, the, 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 uh, the lawyer should be consulted. Uh, a... <laughs> Tell us an age, Renato. Yeah, give us an age. He didn't back down from newborn. No. That's the scary part. <laughs> Long to make their own decision. Uh, you know, a qualified decision which uh, will be supported by their own inside inner feeling that this is right and this is what they want to do. Not imposed from the outside. I think that children are way, way continuously thought and, and beaten down with the rules of adults that adults have made and I think that they should be able to, 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 to express their own uh, inner, 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 inner Feelings, you know, yeah. tendency, you know, natural feelings. Again, again, kids should be able to do whatever they want. Yeah, if at birth they know all the consequences, yeah. do you go know for the it. Can you imagine as a kid if I was allowed to do anything I wanted? Forget about yeah. it. Ben the world it. wouldn't be here. Right. <laughs> uh, uh, I wouldn't know how to say, you know, how to say why uh, somebody like what do, what the aesthetics, okay, the and uh, sexual <laughs> feeling are not yeah. something that. Um, can be imposed from the outside. Petrophilia. Uh, uh, petrophilia. <laughs> if you're going to be a pedophilia, into pedophilia, why don't you learn how to say it? Uh, the petrophilia. <laughs> it's where you make love to gasoline. <laughs> <laughs> and I believe the gasoline knows when it wants to make love. <laughs> the pitfalls, the consequences. Someone ought to put a kick me sign on his nuts. <laughs> um, what tricks? Uh, what tricks do you guys use to lure children? Uh, I usually tell them that I'm a Howard. <laughs> they lure me. I do lose them. <laughs> Kids lure you? Yeah, yes, yes, sure, sure. sure. If they have a chance. But yeah. so. how, how does a kid oh, lure you? 
Oh, they uh, they lure me not for sexual thing, but they lure you for they lure me at least for. Um, I don't make this making a, a, a broad statement. I just mean to say that children love adults. Children like well, ooh, they like them. They feel this. Feel yeah, they, no, no, they, they breathe, and you think they're luring you. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I've had children like me, but yeah. I never thought they were coming on to me. <laughs> they bleed their eyes, and I rape them. Yeah, <laughs> oh. feeling like animals to cats or dogs. They know they like them. They don't have to. Be, you don't have to be rationalized. You don't have to explain them. You don't have to be explained. You don't have to discuss them. It's all exciting. They know what they want. Okay. So excited. They, they see Howard's book and say, "Oh, Nambla, we saw oh, Ricky, Ricky, and uh, well, that guy's annoying. See us. It's wonderful. Yeah. Hey, what pet names do you have for that Howard Stern fan guy? Is really he, annoying. He just should be let out of the room. Yeah. I try keeping away from him. Yeah. Good. Ricky, Ricky, children. <laughs> Well, I, I, mean, I still, you know, this Renato does not answer a question straight. No, well, how do you answer? You're into boys. He claims that children lure him. John comes back with a great follow-up. How? Yeah. I don't know. And they do it. They do, do, they do. They it's kismet. Do me. Oh, Nambla, we saw oh, Ricky, Ricky, and uh, they come and see us. It's wonderful. Okay, what pet names do you have for the children? <laughs> This is not my approach to life. I mean, I just don't think of things like that. I, I don't belittle them uh, necessarily by giving them any pet name at all. How about you? I, pref I prefer adults. I'm also gay. I prefer adults, but uh, children, ch name pets for children? Yeah. I mean, do you have any pet names? No, I mean... <laughs> How about I, jailbait? Uh, sometimes they come up with their own pet name, their own uh, nicknames. Like what? Well, I don't know. I mean, uh, children sometimes play games, and you accept their games. What? I accept, I do accept their games. W what kind of game? Am I trying to seek? No, 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 no. Games and words. Words game. Okay. Words games. Uh, uh, words with double meaning, or uh, don't ask me which word now. Do okay. you imagine any child wanting to be around this guy? <laughs> I, my, he's making my skin crawl. <laughs> the one I like is the one that keeps making all the jokes. I mean, like that's the kind of guy you just want to come running out of the room, whether he's a boy lover or not. I like the guy who keeps going. This is just <laughs> not my approach yeah. to lie. Uh, <laughs> this is not. I don't know what you're talking about. I have no. Clue. We're talking about loving boys here. <laughs> you know, like, like like these questions are ridiculous. Where I don't all, know about pet. Why don't you just get to our questions? These are all your. What are you, Barbara Walters? No, he's doing follow-ups. No, I'm doing follow-ups. Ah, interested. shut up. Right. Is Michael Jackson okay? Okay by you? I I don't know. I mean, I don't know his private life. He, uh, I don't know his private life. I can pass my judgment on another person. I don't feel like. Uh, I don't know. How about you guys? Is Michael Jackson okay by you? Uh, I don't have enough facts. All I've read is what is in the media. And sadly, one can't always trust what the media writes, especially the more sensationalistic media. How about... Yeah, my, that's my feeling. I really don't know. Suppose, he, suppose it's true that he is molesting the kids. Uh, now, first of all, what molesting oh, whatever, means... Whatever. Is he... What? Third, this is a loaded word which is ruining, corrupting our society. But anyway, let's leave that aside. Uh, um, uh, uh, I don't know... What... Molesting is a terrible word. <laughs> Well, that's, you know, the one the thing duction. is that Michael confounds even Nambla. Yeah, they don't even want to back him. <laughs> Nambla is distancing themselves from Michael Jackson. How do you like that? That's pretty bad. How do you like them apples? <laughs> did with the boy. If the boy was consenting and wanted to do this, then I see absolutely no problem at all. If no, obviously. the boy is... Uh, that's what he should be saying. Why, why the problem? Happy to... Explore his life and his value with Michael Jackson in that way. Okay, let me, let me, uh, only a couple more. Uh oh, good question must be coming up. He's stubborn. <laughs> Does the sound of a newborn make you firm? <laughs> sound of a newborn make me firm? As I said before, I get more excited by watching wrestling shows on TV than seeing baby weaning or something. Midget wrestling? Mm, no. <laughs> no. They have a long time they've gone. They're, they're okay, one of you guys ever, 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 this is going to be a tough one. Were one of you guys ever molested? No. I was too big to be molested, too strong. How, how about you guys? Uh, not only wasn't I molested, but uh, this was a myth that I was very interested in exploring. And in the last 15 years, in the, talking to other NAMBLA members in this country and worldwide, I find that 
it's a very rare situation where, in fact, people were molested. This is a, this is mythology. <laughs> ah. Uh, no, I uh, was uh, as I was growing up. I certainly would have uh, enjoyed it. Welcomed a relationship of that kind with an adult, but somehow I was never able to arrange it. <laughs> you homosexual. Uh, in these terms, uh, it depends on what you mean. That is, I don't find uh, females unattractive at all. I find them quite attractive. The point is that if you want to impose your little pigeonhole, your little uh, formula, your little label on this life or other lives, it probably is most inappropriate. Have you been with one? See, John is inappropriate. Yeah. It's inappropriate to pigeonhole. I don't know what that. I think they like pigeons. That's a whole nother meeting. Everything is a hole, though. It's yeah. a pigeon hole. A hole. <laughs> Everything has to do with a hole. The whole life is a hole. Loophole. Yes, I have. Huh? How about you, Renato? Have you been with women? Again, no. Oh, you haven't? No. Again, what you have to understand is this: those pedophile boy lovers. It comes in all sizes, in all type of milieu, in all type of, with all type of attitude. And there, yes. Uh, a time that the 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 pedophiles that are monsters, they are pedophiles that are criminals, really. But they are also pedophiles that are very good, right. very uh, helpful good society, <laughs> and very helpful pedophiles, children, and uh, to be commanded. Like who? Superman. Well, like the <laughs> Superman was a pedophile. <laughs> yeah, give us the names of famous good pedophiles. Yeah, right. Like are who? You, are you a good pedophile or, or an evil one? Pedophile. Superman was a good pedophile, and um, Hitler was a bad pedophile. Right, and not all murderers eat the bodies, <laughs> so they are good murderers. <laughs> <laughs> like the untold story that never come on TV. Okay, the story in which a boy is held by a, by by a, a man. A boy that usually, some, sometimes boys that don't have a family or is um, you know, probably Heaven. kids, which he finds, finally, he finds somebody that uh, is interested in what he's doing and he does well in school. <laughs> yeah. He does well in his private life because he, cares. he knows that he's appreciated, so that somebody that can take. I like to take a boy who has no family, uh, do bad in school, I take him in and then he would be, let's say, good student because I care about him. No, no question that he cares to get some sex off of him. Right, right. yeah. How about caring without the sex? Now that's uh, that's a, a philanthropist. He, he'll leave that boy on the street if uh, there's no sex involved. Mm. Eddie, uh, you're doing nice in school. I'm glad you you make nice grades. Now, now, why don't you strip, and we'll celebrate? Yeah. We'll celebrate. Um, oh, you have a good report card, Eddie. Come to bed. <laughs> yeah. Now it's time to rest because it's another hard day in school. And you will need this rest to do good in your studies. Your studies are important. But uh, bed is more important. If you want to do good or you want to end up on the street... You, you will never see this story in the paper. Right. <laughs> you will never see how good we are. <laughs> I love you, Eddie. <laughs> you look good in your granimals. Mm. You know, you're average now, and let's see, when I met you was what, D minus? You're average now, B plus. And now... <laughs> All right, let's go back to the interview. Scaring him. And this, uh, this case is like, uh, you know, these this are ca the majority of the cases, but they never come on TV. They never, mm, never nice heard cases. about it. Good pedophile. While making love to a child, have you ever had the crib break? So, do you have to translate this for me again? <laughs> Did oh. Howard write that one himself? No, Fr Fred usually does this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, were you ever a scoutmaster? No. Okay. Uh, do you pick up more dates with Pez or Chunkies? <laughs> Pez or Chunkies? I don't understand what you're saying. Well, that's, that's like the brands of candy. Ah. Uh. Um, Chunky yeah. Pez. <laughs> what a Pez? What is this? Well, you know, do you you know is it, is it you know do you pick up uh, kids with Pez or Chunkies? Like you know which candy has been? Oh, oh I got I didn't get the point. New Yorker oh, bar yeah. is that the is that the new one? <laughs> Nutty New Yorker is 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 actually oh. the best. Uh, no, Nutty no, no, New Yorker. No, no. Recommended. Oh. We're not looking for any endorsement. We don't need a, that kind of endorsement. <laughs> With candies and things. I mean, you know, I, I don't. Uh, if they come to me, if they, uh, as I said before, uh, we meet. Uh, you can meet children. Or yeah, there's no enticement involved. Where do you meet these? Children? Yeah, right. Well, why is that such an outrageous question? How else would you get an entree to children? Most pedophiles have little game rooms, and you know. They and have, they hang out at school. Right. At the zoo. 
at the Pez. There is an all kind of situation, a normal situation, a street, in, 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 in a school, any place standing which school. What are you doing in school? Are you ready? People you're meet people. A hundred years old. Yeah, well, you're not supposed to be in school. <laughs> you can meet kids in school. What do I need Pez for? Well, do you people make friends well, and people? Well, do you cruise lemonade stands? <clears throat> I don't like lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> Like, why is that outrageous? Where would you meet kids? I I'm don't a, like lemonade. I'm a boy lover, but I hate lemonade. <laughs> lemonades. Lemonade. Mm. He must think it's a form of AIDS. I don't like lemonade. <laughs> Actually, uh, lemonades would probably lure a young athlete. <laughs> they like it after their workouts. Mm. Would you pay an hour to work as a department store Santa Claus? Oh, oh, oh. Power to I think you're an excellent Santa Claus. <laughs> I don't understand anybody. Yeah, but what How about you? you? Uh, that wouldn't have any interest to in me personally. Why wouldn't this interest these guys to be a department store Santa Claus? Jeez. Getting Get little kids to sit on your lap? Sure. See, they're. I, again, they, I don't understand the image these here. These are guys who are trying to make this legitimate. Oh. They're saying they wouldn't dream of, of being not. a Santa Claus or anything like no. that. No, why would to I do that? Take advantage of children who weren't looking to seduce them. <laughs> My theory is that all department store Santa Claus is like little kids sitting uh, on their lap. Uh, <laughs> not all, maybe seventy percent. <laughs> okay. Um, did you ever make love to a boy while the Barney song was playing? Which, which songs? Barney song? Yeah, Barney, you know, that big dinosaur. Oh, Barney, the big dinosaur. No. No, that's out no. of the question. Why would I play that? All right, well, I, I, I'm pretty much sure. I mean, if, if, uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, only, only... You didn't if, have any you guys typical could... date questions. <laughs> Please. <laughs> we had every question under the sun. It was a typical Is that it? Are you done? No, no, I asked him that one. Oh, you did? Yeah, I have okay. one more that they didn't answer before. Give them the top five kids in movies and what you'd like to do to them. If, if I mean, if you just because you didn't answer that before. I have no, no, no answer for that. Either. How about you? Uh, I just want to compliment the crew. This is the best list of, qu list of questions that I can remember. <laughs> this guy's obnoxious. Really good job. But I mean, I mean, is, is, is there any childhood actors that you know you've they've no. attracted? No. Well, there's Stuttering John a few years ago. <laughs> I mean, you know, God. you guys want to turn off by Opie or anything? <laughs> Opie? Who is Opie? <laughs> Where's that Opie? guy from? Yeah, what planet? planet? Uh, the opening scene in uh, Howard's New Year's show. Uh, what, a, what a production. All uh, right, listen, before I leave, Renata, can you just give Howard a special message, like, you know, Howard, you know, you know so we could play, you know? You know, like that answer machine message? I have what you want to hear. Mm. Like, you know, Howard, you know, be young, be proud. Yeah. <laughs> How are you? Be young, be proud, be beautiful as you are, and keep on doing what you're doing because uh, you're doing a good work. It's um, it's masquerade. You're masquerading like clown, but you're a very serious person and a person that actually I think will be useful to society in the future for what you're doing now. Oh, thanks. All right, guys, oh, thanks oh I didn't realize I didn't realize he was such a nice guy. Such an endorsement. <laughs> what an endorsement. <laughs> You gotta play that at the beginning of the show. After after the Nambla message. Oh. Be young, be proud. You are a very useful person. Yes. Wow. That's too that's too chilling, isn't it? Isn't it great? I mean every question is like a non answer. Like every question's ridiculous. Yeah, they don't really like children. I don't know what the big deal is. Why don't we take a break and we'll come back and do more for you, right?